In tonight's Military Matters, recruiters are on Fort Hood this week trying to fill spots in a relatively new Army initiative. The Security Force Assistance Brigade is looking to fill hundreds of positions. They focus on training, advising, and assisting partner nation militaries over in the Middle East. Channel 6 military reporter Jillian Angeline has more. 2,000 soldiers filled Housie Auditorium Tuesday for a two-day event to learn how to join a new Army team, the Security Force Assistance Brigade. So the purpose of the Security Force Assistance Brigade is to pull from the brigades that already exist, uh, the, the personnel that we need, um, and then we can continue to, to train as advisors and have the brigade combat team stay intact and continue to fight their warfighting mission. There's already one SFAB on the ground in Afghanistan. The Army is hoping to build up a total of five teams and one within the Army National Guard. The SFAB recruiters are here on Fort Hood this week, but they're going to locations all around the world, like Germany, to look for the best of the best. I'm looking for soldiers that can think outside the box, that can hold a standard and that have maturity. Uh, they need to have their operational experience. They need to be technical experts in their field um, because we're going to build upon their expertise. Sergeant Major Joseph Tinker is looking to fill about 817 spots just for the second team. Sergeant Bradley Grimes is aiming for one of those coveted spots, especially with his past experience. Uh, with training, it's been more in the, it was the Iraq uh, police back in 2009. And then I have training with some uh, Afghan security forces. Well, because uh, I've also deployed, I had a break in service. Uh, I've deployed over there uh, under the Department of State. Soldiers who are accepted into the deployable brigade will go through plenty of training, including survival training and air assault school. SFAB leaders told the packed room today the team is a priority for Army Chief of Staff General Mark Milley. On Fort Hood, Jillian Angeline, Channel 6 News. And there is one group based out of Fort Benning in Georgia and two more planned for Fort Bragg. No word yet on where the others will be located. Nick has a look at sports right after this. Stay with us.